everyone here. We are at Scal Espresso tonight with Riccardo Mannato, a very well known international speaker. So, the index man. <laughs> Ciao, Ricky. Hi, Fede. Hi, everybody. Hi, and thank you for the invitation. Thank you very much. Thanks to you to be here with us, with the SCAT family, to share ideas, concepts about the restorative dairy industry in, in this case. So, uh, Ricardo, I was joking about the fact that uh, he could be called the uh, index man or index technique man because uh, he's uh, an expert about uh, disease rehabilitations with uh, war in warm dentition and uh, he's uh, uh, an international author and speaker specifically uh, about the disease concept specifically with this technique that he proposed uh, and uh, he described uh, very well in many publications. So in this technique, uh, you will tell us something about that. And uh, Ricardo is, uh, as I mentioned, an international speaker. He's a member in uh, important academies, international academies like European Academy of Aesthetic Dentistry. He is uh, currently uh, in the board uh, of the, in the committee of the affiliate committee. He is uh, part of the executive board in the Italian Academy of Conservative and Restorative Member, where he is uh, for sure already um, an active member and uh, a member of the board. He's uh, a member of Italian Academy of Aesthetic Industry and uh, in several other groups, international groups. So thanks a lot uh, to, be, to join us, to be with us, and to share part of your knowledge with us, uh, introducing the lecture that you will perform uh, in Newport Beach uh, in next September at SCAD. So I'm looking forward to see your beautiful material and your concept once again, also in our context. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you for the kind invitation also uh, to, to the Congress in uh, Newport Beach, which really I can't wait. I think it's going to be a very cool Congress, this one that you organized. So really, I can't wait to be there in September. Thank you again. We will have fun. We will have fun as usual in uh, in SCAD uh, and uh, as usual with the, the environment, a very familiar environment that uh, is uh, specific uh, in this in this congress in the SCAD conference. So, Ricky, I, I prepared uh, uh, some questions for you. So here I want to start with the first one. If if you have uh, some slides to share with us, you can do it already. And um, Yes, I will. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're going okay. into the presentation. I wish. Can you see them? Okay. Here we are. So, yeah, I can see very well. So, what do you think must be the best approach in the world dentition to men nowadays? Yeah. Well, this is a very interesting uh, question, Fede. Thanks. And I, I would say that the, the, the best approach to treat these kind of cases, as you see here, is the, the diagnostic part. Before going to the restorative treatment, the most important is the, the diagnostic, as usual, and especially in warm dentition, because we have to really uh, go and see which is the risk assessment in these cases, which kind of where we are dealing with in these cases. Is it the attrition? Is it erosion? Is it abrasion? Or maybe a combination very often of all these uh, situations. And when we have done that, we also need gathering all our data that we usually do in our first visit is also to go and check very well uh, if we have any TMDs or any massive problems, okay? So when we have done all this, we need to understand also the expectations of our uh, patient that we have in front, which kind of problems does she or he have? And at that point then, we, we need to do all our evaluations and then go to the restorative treatment that the approach in the restorative treatment today, I think it's to be conservative. Then we don't, we don't have one approach. We have many options, especially talking about adhesive 
uh, restorations, but we have many options that have pros and cons, okay? But the, 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 what I would say uh, is to be really conservative once we have gather all the data and understand the diagnostic aspect, we need to be, from a biological aspect, uh, very, very conservative because these are tricky cases due to the wear that these patients have, okay? So for this reason, I would say this is the kind of, of approach. And then we have many options for the restorative treatment. So. Yeah, uh, no, I was just want to share with you just a, a few slides also on the posterior because you see here we have his 40 and we have a, a lot of wear here. So that's why we need to understand all these aspects that I mentioned and then go for a restorative treatment that whichever is going to be pros and cons, but however conservative. Absolutely. Uh, fantastic. And, and, and I mean, it happened in uh, your experience that maybe you must have uh, a quite traditional approach with the vitalization crowns, or do you think that nowadays we definitely can trust uh, at 100% on the adhesive approach? Well, Fede, I would say that today I would trust 100% adhesion. Then we need to understand if in that case, if in this specific case, we would go for a totally indirect on the, in the 28 teeth, or maybe all direct, or as very often I do, and I did in this case, a hybrid approach, which is a mix between direct and, and indirect. But however, to answer yeah. to your question, is adhesion absolutely, is really reliable today. Absolutely, with composite and ceramic. Thank you, the truth, I already knew the, the answer, your answer. <laughs> also because you do a lot of adhesion, yeah. you are an adhesion guy. Uh, I, in this moment, at this, at this question, I can answer the same way you, you answered. So absolutely, absolutely um, matched with you uh, uh, from this point of view specifically, and not only on this. So um, going at the second question, here we are. How to manage aesthetics area in ward dentition in the adhesive rehabs? So when you have ward dentition, you have to, to manage an adhesive rehab what is uh, your, uh, if you have something to say about the aesthetic area, the appearance, uh, integration of this? Okay, so for, for example, as uh, let, let me drop back uh, in, 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 the, in the beginning of, uh, of the, the, the slides here, uh, but the aesthetic area, I think it's quite uh, it's quite important, obviously. We need to understand the kind of, here we are again in the initial part. So we need to understand the, the kind of wear as mentioned, but, uh, and the, 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 the muscles and the TMJ. And once we have done that, we can go and understand uh, managing and checking the tooth structure, structure that is left okay, which kind of restorative procedure we can, we, we can achieve is going to be maybe all indirect or uh, is going to be partial indirect restorations or is going to be a direct approach. The, 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 in, today with, with composite, with this copy-paste approach, we can achieve good results without having any kind of preparation. But like in this specific case, I think that if the patient is, his desire is to have a very nice outcome, a very good um, aesthetic aspect, we can achieve this today for sure with composite. But if the patient is asking me, what do you have as the best, okay, treatment for the best aesthetic level, then for sure that is indirect 
with uh, ceramic, okay? And each of these approaches uh, that we have ha are, uh, have pros and cons. But in this specific case, if I can manage to reach uh, the, the, the slide, uh, the final slide, here we are probably. I don't know if you can, if you can see it. Now, in, in this specific case, if you can see the, 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 this slide where I have the beginning and the final, what I, I did here is on the, on, the, on the four canines, I did four additive no prep lithium disilicate um, veneers, palatal incisal veneers, because this patient has a lot of attrition, okay? And this was found out in the diagnostic uh, phase. And instead, on the four upper incisor and the four lower, we did for uh, the, this copy-paste approach through the index technique with composite. So this is a hybrid approach. Okay. It's a mix with ceramic. So in that case, uh, in the posterior, you had uh, a direct approach. Posterior, I had in all the direct. you had a direct approach. Yes, but the four molars were a table ceramic the lithium disilicate tabletops. So the concept is to have the four legs of our table at the pillars, okay? And since we have a lot of attrition, we have also erosion here. Attrition, erosion um, from different aspects, erosion, endogenous and exogenous. He's a bodybuilder. This guy, he has masseters, very, very tough. Okay, I can show you maybe then in SCAD the, the Brax checker of this patient. But however, on the posterior, the four first molars were in lithium disilicates and the canines. All the rest was instead this copy paste approach through the, uh, with the composite, with the index technique. Okay, and this is just the, 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 the situation here, just can show you also here this aspect. You see here the copy paste around the, the two central incisors. As you can see here, this is the, 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 the layering and the shape that the technician did. And I just copied and pasted it on, on the word dentition without any kind of preparation. So this is a good aesthetic outcome, I would say. But again, if my patient has really worn down teeth, really down to the root where we need from a, 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 a to structure perspective to do then indirect, or the patient is asking me the best that I can do from an aesthetic perspective, then, however, I, I choose a total indirect approach because we know that composite is very good, the outcome is very good, but is not the best that we have, okay? But this is a very good, in from my perspective, a very good- uh, Just better. Just better understand, talking about the appearance of these uh, different approaches and materials, uh, what is your selection criteria in order to go ahead in, the, in one way, in another way? Do you, do you ask to the patient? Do you understand the expectation of the patient? Uh, it depends on the thickness of the material you can layer. Uh, what are the references, what are the, the guidelines you, you, you follow? Okay, on, on the anterior area we, we, we are talking about. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I, I would say that I, from my perspective, I analyze the kind of wear. And so, again, if I have a case like this where I have a mix of wear with also a lot of attrition, then I have to integrate in direct at least on the canines, like I did in this case, the upper and the lower. And so that is my choice, however the wishes of the patients are. Then I can do the incisors with composite if I have to structure like here, I have quite a bit to structure, so I can go for a direct approach with the copy paste through the index technique. And so if the patient, my criteria is to choose a, a direct approach like this on the four incisor, upper and lower, if the patient doesn't have the maximum of expectation, okay? If obviously he wants 
a, a, a good uh, outcome from an aesthetic perspective and with composite you can achieve that uh, also long term but instead if he's asking me for sure I want the best you as a dentist can offer me we I, I go also on the incisors in a case like this for indirect obviously we're going to play pay a biological a, a little bit we can do a, a, a very um, conservative preparation, but we're going to pay a biological price. But I want to follow the, the also the, the desires of that uh, patient. But if I can, this kind of approach that I'm just sharing with you here is one I might uh, prefer because I'm very conservative and having, however, a good aesthetic outcome. Okay, great. So uh, I, I strongly recommend to share with us in Newport Beach in the Congress uh, something more about uh, the, the palatal part of this type of restorations in order to, to understand better also in terms of function and uh, uh, contacts in, uh, also in the anterior area. So, but I think that now in this uh, short time we don't have to stay that much on this. But, but, I want to, to ask you another, another thing. So the last question for this interview. Um, I'd like to, to ask you from your point of view, in your experience that is uh, very wide, in these cases of uh, word dentition cases, so the advantages and disadvantages of of the adhesive rehabs uh, in uh, uh, in this case of, uh, um, of, of cases, so in this type of cases. So, what do you think uh, uh, we have with this adhesive approach, copy and paste approach, with both with direct and indirect approach in these cases? And what do you think is the price that uh, we can pay or possible disadvantages? if you think that we have disadvantages compared to a more traditional and more aggressive approach. Yeah, thank you, Fede, for, for this question. Also very interesting. Well, I see, frankly speaking, I see mainly, uh, I would say, only advantages. If we are comparing traditional, conventional approach preparation 360 degrees for 28 teeth and placing crowns instead of doing a, a, an approach similar to this so however with the partial restorations we, we um, a, through the adhesive protocols okay so with ceramic or composite direct or indirect with i don't want to stay in focus on this aspect so i think it's we have a lot of advantages because we are very conservative from a biological aspect. We are a conservative also from a financial aspect. We, we have long-term follow-ups from these perspectives, not only uh, on, the, on the data that we have, so the literature, but also I have, I'm starting now to have cases of 10, 12 years with good follow-ups, so. And uh, the other aspect, I would say that we have an interesting aspect to consider uh, dealing with this kind of approaches that we can repair the materials, okay? Especially if we are managing composite. And we know, uh, talking before about risk assessment, we know that in this kind of worn dentition, okay, something can happen, not dramatic or catastrophic failures, but some chipping or whatever, and we can repair it very, very easily. So I think this is a good service also to, sh to give to, to, to our patient. The, the disadvantages that I see, I see, frankly speaking, one, which is it's more complicated doing a decision because you need to be, you know, to place the dam, to do uh, your adhesive protocol. It's, you need to know what you're doing. Okay, while instead in the conventional approach, it's probably a little bit easier. So that is the only disadvantage that I, that I see. Yeah, absolutely. I want to underline this concept from also my part, because once you, you believe and you want to perform an adhesive strategy, 
it's very important that uh, you have the conditions, I, ideal, or I don't want to say ideal, but uh, the best conditions in order to have that kind of bond strength that uh, we are looking for. And so you, you uh, mentioned rubber dam, and this is an important point because uh, you can also avoid to use a rubber dam. I use it, you use it, but maybe another author can say, okay, I don't want to use it. It doesn't matter, but what is important that you create those conditions that are very important and necessary in order to have uh, the best bond strength possible. So control the humidity, control the field, uh, have uh, uh, a specific type of correct condition. And this is very important because sometimes we want to have the plus of an approach, not having uh, the, uh, the minimum condition, not uh, following uh, the, su some aspects that are very important in order to, to achieve that result. And, um, yeah. okay. And absolutely, absolutely agree. You mentioned the aspect, uh, uh, economic aspect. You say more conservative uh, in in a conservative in a, in economical. So talking about the money and uh, and the price of the treatment, the value you know, we can say of the treatment. But uh, when, when you say we are more conservative, uh, you are talking about something cheap, or you you just saying. Uh, something less uh, but not absolutely cheap because even if uh, in my opinion even if uh, you you decide to have a direct approach or, or more minimal uh, invasive approach uh, there is a lot of work and so this this uh, work uh, has been perceived by the patient and has been has been recognized also from an economical point of view what do you think well, yes, there is, there, there is a lot of work, I would say, a lot of time to spend on these kind of patients, uh, whether I think you're doing indirect, but also direct. I just to mention, usually when I do, when I do this copy paste approach with the index technique, my time on a posterior is uh, uh, around uh, 30, in between 30 and 40 minutes. Okay, so this is the, the, the timing. But when I when I fix an appointment to to, to cement an only how much that's also, sorry how many minutes around in between if I'm not documenting the case is around 30 40 minutes to do a, a, a molding approach through the index technique for one tooth okay then I do the other oh, wow. and then the other I, I do the sex wow. uh, wow. but to cement yeah, yeah, yeah. an only wow to cement an only, it's around yeah. again 40 minutes. It's more or less the same time. Okay. But obviously. Yeah, but to cement an only, you, you need to prep it and you need to, to, to take the impression or, or, the, or the digital impressions. So yes. Anyway, I, for an indirect, you, you, you need more time. Yes, but I, I'm just talking now, I'm doing, I'm comparing. When I'm, I have the, the indirect restoration that has come, it has been delivered from the lab, and I'm just isolating the field, how much time I take to cement that only, and how much of time I, have, I need to mold that tooth, okay? More or less, it's the same time. I think in your clinic, when you, when you have an MOD to do, uh, okay, conventional MOD, you take more or less an hour, 45, uh, or an OD, 45 minutes, an hour. And also when, you, when you're when cementing a, an only, your time, more or less, that you, 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 you take, when you have the, the only already in the clinic, is more or less 45 an hour. So more or less it's the same time, right? For indirect and direct, right? Also for you. So what I mean, it's... Uh, the, it's it's a bit cheaper the molding because you don't have the indirect material that you, you you're going to cement. So that's why if I'm doing 28 uh, onlays, it's the, the cost is going to be less than doing, for example, 28 molding approach 
uh, through the index technique or whichever other technique. Uh, so that, 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 that's also another advantage of this kind uh, of approach. Obviously, you, know, you need, in one way and the other, you need however time, because these are cases where you need to spend time on, on, on the patient. Uh, to do all the initial part and then to do the, the restoration, whichever are going to be direct and indirect, to do the finishing, the, the occlusal adjustments, the management of all that kind of uh, aspect, because these are full rehabs, so you need to spend time. But a little bit cheaper for sure is going to be if you're going to do the molding compared to the onlays. So clear. And finally, just to conclude this aspect, this point, uh... You need time, you need material, you need experience, uh, you need uh, skill, and then uh, couldn't be something very cheap. It could be cheaper, but not uh, cheap, correct? Totally agree, totally agree. So otherwise, uh, how can we maintain our families? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, you have three uh, free kids, I have three, so I mean, we need the... <laughs> We need to work, yeah. but we need also to earn some money. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> it's no. for, for each, yes, it's a, it's a commitment. <laughs> Otherwise, no internet connection and uh, <laughs> nothing else. We don't need to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. We have some troubles with the internet connection, but yeah, probably is uh, acceptable. So we are joking about this uh, for sure. We, we, we are not doing what we do as a clinical service to our patients for money for sure is a job and so it makes sense that uh, all the aspects uh, are in the right position and uh, we have to, to close the, the, the circle but uh, yeah when you choose an approach like this you 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 choose uh, an ethical approach you choose to be respectful you choose you don't choose the the faster way, the easiest way, but you choose, in my opinion, the more modern and respectful way for our patients. So this is something that for me is amazing. As you mentioned before, you can repair a chipping, you can replace one single restoration failed after some years, but you had a, a, a very minimal intervention in the uh, in the um, sound uh, tissues, hard tissues, in amyl dentin, residual hard tissues, and this is for me the most fantastic uh, approach. So, Ricky, it will be a real pleasure to discover more about uh, your protocol and your approach. Uh, in, uh, in uh, this type of cases uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Newport Beach uh, in, um, in September. And guys, you are all invited to, to join us. Usually it's not only top level uh, contents uh, and uh, scientific and clinical contents, it's also to have the opportunity to, to be in touch closely with uh, enlightened minds like uh, Ricardo, like others and uh, to interact uh, with uh, an amazing group uh, of uh, clinicians and uh, researchers. So this is, uh, this is uh, one of the most uh, beautiful things that uh, I can feel uh, in this, uh, in this uh, conference, so in the Skype conference. We wait for So you thanks there. a lot for your time, Rick. Sorry? Yeah, I, I mean, everybody's invited and come because it's it's going to be very nice from a scientific perspective but also it's going to be really enjoyable because we're going to have fun all together and it's going to be very very nice and very cool so be there thanks thanks Ricky. and looking forward to to meet you there and to enjoy california together for sure see you then there thank you again for this okay, Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your sharing. It was absolutely interesting. And it was a, not a mini because it's 30 minutes we are talking. And so it was a, a real lecture waiting for a more informative and even deeper lecture in, uh, in presence in, uh, in Skull Conference.
Keep in touch and see you. Ciao, everyone. See you at the next uh, Scud Espresso episode. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.